Hi there. Uh, this is Eyes Only, 1125. And today we're going to talk about a controversial topic. Feminism. Or what I like to call fourth wave fake feminism. Now, why do I call it that? Mostly because when you meet somebody out there and you say, I don't agree with feminists, it's a big problem with a lot of these girls around here. So, tell them, I don't agree with fourth wave feminism, man hating feminism. Because a lot of girls uh, who believe in feminism don't hate men. It's really the outspoken, crazy, crazy ones. It's like when you see uh, the atheist movement and uh, of the past, like since 2008, a lot of the vocally loudest ones were the ones that were saying things that you don't completely agree with, but no. What am I saying? I disagree with feminism, hands down, um, because I believe in egalitarianism, humanism, as I like to say, um, where human rights are sustained by human groups. Um, you don't fight for your own rights, per se, uh, you don't only fight for your own rights, you fight for the rights of the person next to you, because if you fight for their rights, they will fight for your rights, and everybody grows, and everybody builds in a stronger way. Now, the problem I find with feminism is that they just want to fight for female rights, which, great. Anytime you want to fight for female rights, perfectly fine with me. If there's something that you find is done wrong, point it out. We'll all work together to try and fix it. Sorry, I'm thirsty. But other than that, you're basically saying that most of the time what I see is it's men don't um, understand what plights women can go through and stuff like that. And then you see all the SJW shit online and no, not doing that shit. Triggerly puff and shit. I... The funny thing is, before the SJW stuff that I started noticing, I called myself a conservative. Um, a liberal, I mean. And um, I was on the bandwagon. Uh, I remember when I was uh, really younger, uh, high school. So like 15, 16, my parent might say something that seemed kind of racist, but really wasn't. It just had kind of like a racist tone to it from being older and growing up in the 50s. Hey. So I like, don't say that, that's fucked up. And then I remember two years ago, this is when it really started, I noticed a change. Is at work, and uh, for lack of a better way to put it, a younger black girl, probably 16, 17, I was probably, what, 23, 22 at the time, so, two, so three to four years ago, says something very racist to me uh, about white people. And I go, that's racist. And she goes, I'm black, I can't be racist. Only white people could be racist. And I looked at her like she was completely retarded. And I just said straight out to her, Are you fucking retard? <laughs> Everybody can be racist. It's called racist. It's not called anti-black or... <laughs> it's not acting white. It's being racist. It's taking a race and having a prejudice against it. It's not hard to realize that the word <laughs> means, <clears throat> sorry, I still find it funny because people nowadays, uh, 
Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, black lives do matter. But so do Spanish, so do white, so do blah, 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 blah. There's thousands and different kinds of people out there. Every country, every town, it's different. I mean, you go to America and pretty much it's a melting pot and the house next door is different. But you go to Germany, each person every so many miles is different. So, in this country of America where everything is very tightly bound with racist shit that happened in the past. And I say past because I have never seen a black person hung for talking to a, a white woman, which is what happened in the past. I have never seen... I was going to say I've never seen somebody discriminate against somebody because of their skin color. As in, like, you can't date this person because you're black and she's white type shit. But I've actually seen it where black person was like, you shouldn't date that person because they're white. So, I have seen that. But, it wasn't... Where was I going? Lost the track of mind. Okay, so once we all agree that everybody, uh, the simple term racist means against a race, then we have to agree on the next term or the next idea. Can somebody who is oppressed be racist? Yes, because you're oppressed. You have a prejudice against the people who oppress you. Oppress you. And you can be racist towards them. No. Do I think most black people are oppressed? Not at all. At least not where I'm from. So if I go from my personal white cisgender um, viewpoints, no, you're not. You're not, pre you're not being judged upon. You're not being racially looked upon. I'm somebody who has friends that are gay, has friends that are trans. It doesn't bother me. Um, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> person to person. You want to be my friend? I'll be your friend. But I'm also the type of person who likes to argue. So I'll completely just go off and talk about anything. And I'm also the type of person who doesn't like the idea of censorship at all. Which is why I've been slowly going more and more conservative, technically. Even though I hate the idea of being considered conservative. Um, like, I disagree with most of SJW, social justice warrior type viewpoints of trying to silence people's opinion and what they want to say because I believe in full heartedly in freedom of speech because freedom of speech allows me to say what I want to say and you can disagree with what I say but it's a dialogue and without the dialogue you don't get anywhere nobody has ever gained or one public opinion by crushing the views of people around them besides Hitler and Stalin, like dictators. And let, uh, they crush people's opinions down so that they can't speak and kill them. Now, we have switched completely since I was a kid. When I grew up, you don't hit girls. You don't. And 
retaliation from a girl. You say something to somebody, and then they would get in trouble for doing it too. But you don't. Um, nowadays, a girl can hit a guy, and they just tell the guy to suck it up. Or, what did you do? It's the same thing that they complained about people saying about um, rape victims and stuff like that, which I never understood. Um, if somebody was raped, and why would somebody ask them, what were you wearing? But then again, if somebody was out walking naked for some odd reason, I don't know, and then they got raped... Could you say technically they were bringing it on? No, not really, but someone could. And they're allowed to have that opinion. And in fact, let them have that opinion. When they have that opinion, you walk away from them and be like, you're a weird person. <laughs> That's what I find is the weirdest thing. Is so many people have such thin skin nowadays, but we have the internet where you have to have the thickest skin. I mean... I grew up as a fat kid. <laughs> I got made fun of for that all the time, so I grew with thick skin right away. You, it's like the generation after me is the babies who got a trophy when they uh, lost, so they never learned to lose, which is what I notice with debating people nowadays. Because when I was younger, there was um, stick ham, and we had debate faith back that was awesome just argue with people all night long about different opinions and guess what when you argue with people about different opinions if uh, i know at least with me i listen to them and i take what they say i look it up or i try and understand it as best i could and i've noticed that some of their viewpoints rubbed off on me some of the things they said made sense to me I've been an atheist as long as I can remember, and I know for the longest time, I always questioned um, one thing with uh, evolution that I never understood, how does an eye evolve? And I remember one day, somebody just explained it to me, and ever since then, how did I not notice that? It's actually really simple how an eye could evolve um, over millions of years, but still very very simple and makes sense so to me listening to other people's opinion and even stating what you don't understand helps you grow as a person and these people are afraid to grow as a person because they've been babied you don't understand that little viewpoint that little thing that society needs we all need to be crushed down at times so we can actually understand each other. And if you're not belittled at some point, then you can never grow. And you'll belittle somebody else. Because you learned that you grew from that. Without it, you don't allow somebody to grow. So the keeping of people from talking and saying what they want to say, because besides the fact of growing, you also get to weed out things and the ignorant people and the people you don't really want to talk to. I mean, if somebody next to you starts saying, fuck black people, you're going to be like, dude, that's harsh. I don't really want to hang out with you. You know... Remind me not to hang out with you when he's around, okay? Now, there are jokes people make, too. And as a guy, guys make jokes at each other in the darkest of humors. And that's how they get along, because it's a male dominance thing. I make fun of you, you make fun of me. Until one of us doesn't really have something left to say. And or we just laugh about it. Because something was ridiculously funny that the other person said. 
If you go any place where you see there's a majority men working somewhere, like a construction site or something like that, you'll find that men make these jokes. Like one of the jobs I'd have done was working at a carnival. When you're building rides, um, one person slips and falls, you go, uh, and you make fun of them for falling, call them a pansy or something like that. And, or by the end of the night, your arms are tired and somebody else's arms are tired, and then somebody bitches about it, but everybody else was keeping quiet. You go, ah, yeah, faggot, or yeah, pussy, or whatever derogatory term. And men say that to each other to be like, we understand you, but you don't have to say it. Because we all feel it. We all understand you. And you saying it makes us realize that we feel it and we don't want to feel it. And we don't want to rely on, uh, like, bitch about it because we have better things to do. It's part of the job. Your arms are tired? Well, guess what? That's what happens when you work hard. And instead of, like, t- sitting someone down and be like, you know, all of our arms are tired. That's what happens. You'll get used to it. You go, ah, fuck you, you faggot. And they make a joke back, and that's how you grow. Because it's just stupid little things. It's not really saying it. My best friend's gay. I call him a fucking faggot all the time. He calls me a faggot too. He also... So... He tells me to go suck a dick. I tell him to eat a pussy. (laughs) Stupid little things like that. You do the thing... You say the thing that would annoy somebody. And that's how guys work. I don't know if girls work that way. I kind of see it, but girls kind of... Kind of when they say this stuff to each other, they, like, girls will get along, uh, this is what I hear all the time, and you'll understand this, girls will always go, it's easier to get along with guys, I have a lot of guy friends, girls are bitches, it's funny when they say that, because every guy's like, kind of know, but some are cool, What we'll star when they're by themselves, because they don't have to play like they are insecure, weak, or whatever, and it's like, they let things roll. But what I was saying is, you have a girl, you be friends with one guy, they'll make those jokes like that. And the second they make those type of jokes that they would make with guys to another girl, cat fight. Why? Because girls just can't do that because things become too personal, they become too serious. I mean, you see two guys, they they will verbally bash at each other. They might even fight each other if they don't really like each other. And the next day, they could be friends. I don't know where I was going with that one, but... The problem that I see right now is so much is being belittled, making things seem to be blown out of proportion. We need to just accept each other and understand that multiple people can have different viewpoints and listen to them because those viewpoints could be what helps you grow. And if somebody says something you don't like, just walk the fuck away. But you guys have to check out like Barry, uh, Barry, Barry, um, Wasco, Asawaso, uh, Knights Kept It. Look up people that are against SAW videos and stuff like that. They're actually really entertaining because you get to see people make fools of themselves. Maybe I'm on the wrong side of, side of it. Maybe they're on the wrong side of it. it. Doesn't matter. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. The present, you have to go with what you feel is right. And I feel that as long as you're not hurting somebody, as long as you know that you accept people, you're a good person, and that's all that matters. And as long as you fight for what you believe 
is right for everybody, you'll never be mad at yourself. And that's what truly matters. If somebody else gets mad at you for your viewpoint, stay away from them. This is probably a pretty long video. Yeah, 20 minutes. Nobody's going to watch this, but... Mm. If you did watch it to this point, let me know in the comments. Hey, and let people bitch. I like it. I'm never going to block comments. So give me as many as you want. So comment, rate, subscribe. Have a good day. Peace out. Eyes only. One, one, two. Five, two, five.